In this tutorial, we'll make a light-up pizza. You can use this pizza as a wearable tech pin, as home decor, or add it onto a greeting card or wrapping for a unique gift. The technique here can be used to make any shape out of felt or fabric. In this tutorial, we will use soft circuits that do not require soldering. The coin cell battery does not generate a lot of current, so this is a safe project for someone who's new to electronics. For this project, you will need colored felt, brown, yellow, and red, to make a pizza. You will also need a coin cell battery, three red LEDs, and conductive thread. You can use a battery holder or a pin backing, but this is optional. You will also need scissors, small pliers, sewing needles, and glue. A glue gun is best, but fabric glue will also work. To start, draw a triangle with a curved edge, a pizza shape, onto the yellow felt. Fold over the felt so it's doubled over to cut two shapes at once. Cut the shapes with scissors. Next, take a piece of brown felt and cut the crust shape. Fold the red felt into three and cut out circles. These will be your pepperoni slices. Check your arrangement to make sure that everything looks right. Next, you're going to prep your LEDs to make them sewable. I have a tutorial on how to do this here. Essentially, you'll be bending the pins and rolling them into spirals to allow them to be threaded. Do this with all three LEDs. Cut a small hole in the center of each pepperoni piece for the LED to poke through. Arrange the red pieces on your slice and mark in the center of the holes with a pen. Next, cut small holes in the place you marked on the pizza. Check to make sure all the holes line up properly. Glue the pepperoni slices to the felt, being careful not to fill the hole in with glue. We won't be gluing in the LEDs yet. Now we will be building our soft circuit. Start by threading two needles with conductive thread. Tie the ends of each thread to each end of the LED securely. Thread the needle through the two other LEDs, making sure the LEDs are lined up the right way. You can do this on the pizza or put the pizza aside for now. Make one loop with the thread in each looped pin of the LED. You want to make sure it's secure, but that you can still adjust the thread length later. Test your circuit with a coin cell battery to make sure that everything is working. If it is not lighting up, common problems can be LEDs positioned the wrong way or the thread overlapping and short circuiting itself. Now that the circuit is done, you can position the LEDs back in the pizza. Arrange the thread so that there are no crossed wires. Now you can tighten the thread to the correct length between the LEDs. Use your glue to hold the LEDs in place. You can also use small dabs of glue to keep the thread down. Take the second yellow piece of felt that you made earlier. You can trim it down slightly so that it doesn't show in the front. Position it over the circuit and thread the ends of the conductive thread through. Here's where you can use a battery holder or make your own. If you're newer to working with coin cell batteries, a battery holder is the easiest solution. I ran out of battery holders and made my own with two pieces of wire and tape, but a battery holder with an on-off switch is much easier to use and looks better. Attach the ends of your wires to your battery holder and glue down the holder in place. Test again to make sure that everything is working. The final step is to glue on your crust. You can also add a pin backing or a hair clip to make this an accessory. Enjoy your light up pizza.